Hey there and welcome to this absolutely cracked lead generation funnel. In this video, you will learn how you can connect your meta ads to a WhatsApp AI lead funnel that automatically messages your leads and books them into your calendar with a conversational human-like AI. All right, and before I show you anything, I actually wanna show you exactly in live how this works. So you can go to Setter AI, trysetter.com and scroll down here in the second section and send yourself an automated outbound message. So this is a standard lead form as you, as you saw right here. This could be a Facebook lead form or a um, website lead form. And as you saw here right now, in five seconds, I received an outbound message from this AI, right? And if I am now gonna reply to this AI, it is gonna reply to me as well within five to 10 seconds again, and is trying to book an appointment with me and to qualify me. And how that funnel can exactly look like for you, we'll see in this video. So you can connect either your website form or a Facebook lead ads form or any other form where your leads enter their name and their phone number, right? Then they fill out the form, right? And you collect their phone number and name. Next, you're gonna use Zapier to send an instant message to Setter AI. Setter AI will instantly contact your leads as soon as Zapier sent the information over. And this can be in message as you saw right now here with like hi and then the name variable this is for example megan from your company why are you interested in our services or something like that right then as soon as the lead responds the ai from setter ai is going to take over and have an automated conversation on whatsapp and like a human-like conversation with emojis with not too long messages not ai sounding right really conversational ai and the goal is always to book a call so in every message the ai or we call her megan will try and push for a call right and then once the lead is okay with booking a call it will book it into a calendly and here it comes it will book it into a calendly in the background the lead does not need to click on a link an outbound link open it in your browser input anything because you already have the leads data right it will automatically go in the background and book your lead into calendly with the data that you have and the lead will agree to a time and date inside the WhatsApp chat. Now, if that interests you, stick to the end of this tutorial because in this tutorial, you will learn how to connect your WhatsApp business account in five simple clicks or even how you set up a WhatsApp business account, how you get a new WhatsApp number if you need one, how to connect Zapier to Facebook and Setter AI, how to connect your Calendly account and how to prompt. And all of this, I can guarantee you, you can set up in less than 15 minutes and have it up and running and literally have an automated lead funnel that books appointments into your calendar. All right, let's go. All right, let's get started. We are gonna use Zapier to connect all of this, but you can also use programs like make.com. All right, to get started, go to trysetter.com and click on build your chatbot. Once you're in the dashboard, click on create chatbot and give this a name. Now, let me quickly show you what you can do in the Setter AI dashboard. Now, in the conversations tab, you will see all of your conversations, including their WhatsApp phone numbers, and it will also show you if an appointment has been successfully booked. In the playground, you can actually test your bot once you have given it a script. And in the integrations tab, you can connect your WhatsApp business account in just five clicks, connect your Zapier, what I'm gonna show you as well, connect your Calendly, that way your calendar is connected through your Calendly account or connect your Acuity scheduling account if you use Acuity. Now in the very first step, we are gonna set up our prompt so that the bot is customized to our business. So here in the field, you will already see an example prompt. I'm just gonna copy all, so mark all, click copy and I'm gonna go to ChatGPT and I'm gonna tell ChatGPT to change this prompt for my business. As an example, let's say I'm a solar company. Now I told it that I'm a solar company based in London and I'm gonna paste the ex existing script here, gonna hit uh, go and now ChatGPT is gonna rewrite the script for my business. We see it puts uh, common problems here as well inside the script that is great. Many of our customers cut the electricity bill by up to 70%. So this is the pitch, right? And here it's then gonna start the free consultation and will then look into your calendar, into your Calendly account in the background and pick a time slot. It will then ask for the lead's email address and book them in for a free solar consultation. Awesome. It also generated a 
uh, example Q&A, of course, um, adjust that for your business. Now we are going to copy everything here to hit copy and we are going to replace this with the new script. Let's hit save. Great. In the next step, we are going to connect our WhatsApp business account. Click on connect and click on import business account data. Note for every WhatsApp account, you need a different WhatsApp number. If you don't have a spare WhatsApp number, you can get one easily by clicking this link, get a WhatsApp number and you can get WhatsApp numbers from the UK, US or any other country. Once you got your WhatsApp number, click here on get started and then select your business portfolio in Meta. Now in the next step, you're going to choose or create a WhatsApp business account. You will probably create a new one for your AI. Give it a name and a display name. Make sure the display name is similar to your business name so that Meta approves your name and hit next. And in the next step, you are going to connect your new WhatsApp number. You will just then put it into a field. You're just going to verify the number. It's going to send you an SMS or a phone call and then your new WhatsApp account is connected. Great. Once you're connected, there's going to be some IDs showing up here and then you don't have to do anything anymore. Your WhatsApp account is connected and you can then still manage the, your business account in Meta and add like a new profile picture or a different description. Now in the last step, we're now going to connect this to Facebook and we're going to create a message template and connect it to Zapier. After that, your bot is ready to go and you can send instant WhatsApp outbound messages from your Facebook lead ad submissions literally within seconds. All right, in this video, I will show you how you set up a WhatsApp message template. A WhatsApp message template is necessary in order for you to send an outbound message via the WhatsApp API. Now you're probably on this page right now and there will probably be no message templates available here because you haven't set up any. Now to set up one, click on manage message templates and you will be led to this page. First of all, make sure you're in the right WhatsApp manager because you may have multiple ones. So make sure you're in the right WhatsApp manager, check your WhatsApp business ID in uh, the bar um, on top, then click on message template and click on create template. Now click on next, select custom and click on next. Now give your template a name. I'm going to test this. I'm going to name this new test one, two, three. <coughs> Now here, this is a little bit confusing. However, I would recommend you choose name as the variable. You can choose number or name. It doesn't really matter in the end because our system will detect your variables and you can later map them. Um, header, I would choose none because we want it to look like a natural message sent by a human actually, right? In the body, you can type whatever you want. I'm going to have this message here. Hello, Timo, Megan here. What excites you the most about using AI for appointment setting? and you may want to add a variable. You can have no variable, that's no problem, then just this message is being sent out. Now, I want to add a variable, so I'm going to click Add Variable. It's going to add the variable here um, at the end, and I have to give the variable a name. So you see the brackets here? You can give it any name you want. Just take a name that, re like, that matches also your variable names in, for example, Facebook lead ads, right? So I'm going to call this first name. And then I'm going to copy this entire thing. Make sure you copy all the brackets. And I'm going to remove the placeholder name and going to put it in here. Perfect. Now we have the name variable. You can enter as many variables as you want. Just make sure you give them different names. Now I'm going to continue with one variable and we have to give an example content for the variable. Just put in a name, for example, Timo or whatever, John, doesn't really matter. Usually these message templates are approved uh, automatically within seconds. Now, once you're done, click on submit for review. And oh yeah, by the way, select the language. If, if your language is not English, select your language uh, beforehand. That is very important. And yeah, confirm the language, click confirm. All right, one message template is submitted. Now let's refresh this page. And we see our message template is already approved and it is active. Perfect. Now let's head back to Setter AI, refresh this page as well. And let's click again on the WhatsApp button. And now we see our newly created message template. Select this one and click on continue in the right hand corner. Perfect. 
Great, now see you in the next section, the Zapier section. All right, in this step, we are connecting our lead form to Zapier in order to send an automated outbound WhatsApp message. By the way, you can use any tool. You don't need to use Zapier. You can also use make.com or any other connection tool that you might use that allows you to send a code snippet. So in order to set this up, we first go to Zapier and select the lead form that we want to connect. In my case, I'm just showcasing that with Facebook lead ads forms. So you're gonna select here in Zapier your Facebook lead ads. You're gonna select a tri trigger event as new leads and then click on continue. You're gonna select your page and the form that you want to connect. Click on continue and load a record from your phone. Ideally, you already have a, a lead coming in in that form you will need the uh, phone number field and the name field and the email field in that form in order to send a outbound WhatsApp message. Now, I just created a new form. That's why I don't have a lead here yet. That's why I just named the company name field as my phone number field. Basically, it doesn't really matter what the field is named. I just um, modified this so we have an actual phone number field. In your form, this would look like this, that you have a phone number field where the lead actually puts in their phone number. Make sure they put it in with the uh, international country code uh, into your form. Otherwise, we cannot send a WhatsApp message. Now, we have this data. We have the email. We have the first name. We have the last name. And we have the phone number. By the way, you don't necessarily need the last, last name. You could also have a field that is uh, lead full name, right? Uh, then you would just always send the full name um, in the WhatsApp message. So you would then say, for example, hello, and then full name of the lead. Um, now, in my case, I have separated it into first and last name, so I can uh, call them by their first name, right? But it doesn't matter. You can do any um, any variable that you want. Great. Now let's continue with the selected record. In the second step, we are connecting Zapier. And here you're actually um, going ahead and search for code and you click on code and that's code by Zapier. Don't worry, you don't need to code. You just need to paste something in. Then you can click on run JavaScript and you're going to click on continue and then configure it. I have already configured it. So I'm just going to delete that one and going to work with this one. You're going to click on continue. And here you're gonna put in the variables. Now, in order to get this, we're gonna go back to Setter AI. And here is your code field. You do not need to um, change anything here. You just click on copy code. Go ahead, uh, go over to your Zap, and then copy and paste this in here. If there is some code before here as a placeholder inside, make sure to delete everything, and then only delete the Setter AI and then only insert the setter AI code into here. <clears throat> now, next we have these variables, okay? We need to put these variables into our fields if we have them. Now, at first, go, go ahead and create five fields. I'm just gonna delete these fields here just for our purpose. Now I have created five variable fields just go ahead and copy the API key, put it in here, copy phone number, put it in the second one, copy the name, put it in here. You have to use the exact variables in order to match this correctly. And also copy your message template variable, in our case, first name here. This is likely the same variable as here. Super. Now we're going to start by filling in the API key. You're going to go to Setter AI and click on the here. Just open it in a new tab, create new API key, and we're just going to call it test new one. Uh, copy that API key because you will never see that API key again. So click on copy and paste it into here. Now the phone number field will be filled by our Facebook lead, lead submission. So go in here and I have that as raw company name for you. That will be raw phone number or phone number, whatever you have your field mapped, map it here. The name, 
I'm gonna save the first name into here. So this is the act, this is the name that is actually given to the AI how it should call your lead. Okay. Um, there is a little bit distinguishment between how the AI should call your lead and how the first message template first name is. Usually, I would just use the same variable because if you once call them by their first name, you will always call them by their first name. Or if you once call them by their full name, you will always call them by their full name. So we're going to put the exact same variable also into this field. And lastly, we're going to map the email because uh, we need the email for the scheduling part, right? If you schedule, for example, into Calendly, then the Calendly needs the email of the lead to schedule. Now, if you don't have the email, it's also no problem because then AI will later ask for the lead's email before scheduling. But this way you already give the AI the correct email of the lead. So um, yeah, the AI doesn't need to ask anymore. Great, now we have everything in here that we need. We're gonna click on continue and we're gonna test this. Let me pull up my WhatsApp. Let's test this step. We got a response status 200, that's great. And we just got an outbound message from our Facebook lead ads, perfect. Now with this, you have successfully set up your WhatsApp outbound messaging, so every lead that comes into Facebook lead ads will automatically receive a message within seconds um, by your AI appointment setter. And then when they reply, they will be engaged by the AI until they book an appointment. Great. Make sure to publish your Zap and turn it on so it's actually live. Make sure it is actually turned on here. 